Yeah. Do fish get thirsty? Find new answers. Find new roads. Chevrolet. A wise man once said, you can kill a man, but you can't kill an idea. What he meant was that knowledge is eternal. It's a lesson learned, a goal achieved, and it can be passed on from generation to generation, just like it is every day at Alcorn. Both knowledge and the character it takes to use it wisely. Alcorn, where knowledge and character matter. It's really black girl magic. I'm underestimated as a dancer because I'm black. Everything has to do with The Swag Cast produced Hall of Fame players and coaches that have shaped football as we know it today. But excellent doesn't stop. The game clock buzz. Since 1920, the SWAC has produced some of the nation's leaders, innovators, and trailblazers. Driven by greatness, guided by tradition, and building a champion for life, we continue to submit ourselves into history. The SWAC. Facing the Alcorn State University football team, talking things over, 7 nothing on score. As I, I tell you what, if you are the uh, the Braves, considering what has happened in this first quarter to be down 7 to nothing, you're a little bit fortunate. Yeah, absolutely. The defense is going to have to come up with another big stand right now, but the offense has not been able to help the Braves defense out of the nice couple turn the Jaguars begin in plus territory at the Alcorn State 36-yard line. First down and 10 here is McCray, and he hands the ball off. Wide open, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Southern University, and it's Carl gone. Going the distance for the Jack. Looks like the never paid. I did, open wide open. He's got that open spectacle. Just great blocking up front. Open the hole up, and everybody is eating here in Baton Rouge. Kick it up, it is good. Time out the field with the score. Southern 14, all corn nothing, and a big run. That was because of some great blocking up front. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. new Hyundai Tucson. This is a brand new thing. With Sonic's two for five menu, you get two delicious things for only five.
14-0 our score. And there you see Lagone, who just scored that touchdown, 14-0. And boy, I tell you what, that is really a sign when you look at that offensive line of just the strength and what they were able to do. Yeah, those big guys up front opening a huge hole for Lagone, his third touchdown of the year. That young man, he's all smiles on the sideline, but he's going to have to dap up his offensive line. And as far as Alcorn, they're going to have to find an answer offensively so far tonight. Rushing the football, Jarvion Howard, four carries for only three yards. Nico Dunn, one carry for four yards. Leatherwood, he's been the best, two carries for seven yards. So, also going to have to get the passing on this game. And get any better in the passing game. Aaron Allen, the five, with an interception in the middle of the football. Secondary comes into this ball game leading the conference with nine interceptions. They have another one tonight to make it ten. Four of those have been returned for touchdowns. First down and ten for Alcorn at the 25 yard line. Here is the give across the 30 up to about the 35 yard line. And this is a positive start here on this drive. Jarvion Howard getting big yardage on first down. Yeah, his best run of the night, 11 yards. Left Good job there on the left side of the offensive line, feeling the edge. He's real ready. 325 pound offensive tackle. And he steals the edge. And he has some room to run. First down and 10. Here's Allen back to pass over shot his receiver. He was trying to get Malik Rogers. Cameron, Texas. And he had Rogers open on a deep slant. And again, tried to get it over the linebacker, but it also floated over the receiver. So a couple of hot throws we've seen from McCray and now also big second down here. You need to pick up some positive yardage. From the 36. Allen fakes the handoff, gets it to his wide receiver across the 45 to about the 48 yard line. Great catch by the receiver Manny Jones. Great shirt to you from Emory, Mississippi. That was an outstanding grab by Jones. Jones only goes 5'7, 170 pounds, and he had to have use every inch of his body to bring that one in. Howard tackled behind the line of scrimmage again. Great defensive play by the Southern University team. Kelby Givens, the freshman from Shreveport, on the tackle. Yeah, watch Givens here. Working against 72. No comments on from the backside. Just sheds the block, able to bring down Howard from behind. And Howard just nowhere to run. He had the nice 11-yard carry to begin this possession. And now Nico Duffy will check in. Nico is the speedster. They're trying to get him in space. Duffy is one of those guys, if he gets into the open field, it is a challenge to catch him. Allen back here on second and 13, complete across the floor, 35, 45 yard line, down to 44. Allen the catch, Tavarius Adams, the senior from Meridian. Looks like that's going to be Benny McCray, I believe. Yeah, Benny McCray. And that's Deshaun McCray's brother. 
So they'll take a look at him over on the sideline. Looks like it may be his left leg that's causing the issue. Good stopping play. Remember, he is on the all point sideline. And Cray is now up and he'll take the walk back to the opposite side of the field. Gingerly, I might add. a key component for this Southern University defense. McCray had four tackles against Prairie View and University and one pass breakup. And now a big third and two coming up here for the Braves. This is usually Jarvis on Howard time. And you see Alcorn rushing to the line. And here is Howard. He gets across the line of scrimmage to the 40 yard line. And that will be enough for the first down and a little bit more. in from behind the push him forward across the 40-yard line. It's going to be a first down out around the 42. And it awakens this Alcorn State University crowd that has come to Baton Rouge. And here's one here across the 35-yard line down to about the 33-yard line. Once again, Howard on the carry. And they're trying to get the big fella ramped up. And a lot of times with these big fellas, it's about getting into a rhythm, getting the ball three, four, five times in a row and starting to wear down the defense inside. Pass out into the flat, and that's going to be Adams. No game on the play. That's going to have enough for the first down. He only needed four. So he had a change of move. He knew exactly where he needed to get to. And now the Braves moving near the red zone. Now with the handoff to Howard. Nice big move by Howard. Gets about three yards in the good time. in there to help make the stop along with Davis 14 nothing our score all corner trying to get into the end zone for the first time this evening snap is a little bit low Allen going deep Allen getting his receiver touchdown all corn state university Malik Rogers the graduate student from Pearland putting six on the board for the Braves Tremendous drive by Alcorn, tremendous response, excellent throw that time from Allen. Start, run, 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 short pass, and then boom, over the top, one-on-one -on -one coverage in the secondary. Beats Glenn Brown by two steps. All he had to do was bring it in, and now we're an extra point away from a seven-point game. Extra point try is up, and it is good. And so now the lead is down to a touchdown for State University after the extra point by Alcorn State University. Huge play for Alcorn on a big drive. The touchdown pass to Malik Rogers, the graduate student. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. 
When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Equinox to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. Asking what will Pop-Tarts do is how you get from toast and jam to that's my jam. From Sunday to Sunye. So, like, what will Pop-Tarts do here? Yeah, that feels right. Crazy good. The All Court State University fans have a little bit more something to cheer about as they're on the board. 7 is our score here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, of course, you look at that drive, 10 plays, 75 yards, taking 3.43 off the clock. Yeah, that's to Ron, to cross the 20, out to the 25, maybe the 26-yard line. You know, the tackle for all four State University is number 29, Robert McDaniel. Here, Southern get a chance to try to put together something here. You're up 14 to 7. Really, the pressure's not on you right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we had a 14 to 15. All four comes back with a nice drive. Now, what you got on here is to go three and out with your defense back on the field because they just were on the field for nearly four minutes and ten play drives. So, you want to take the little time off if you're McCray and you get your running back, your pass back going to pick up a couple of first downs. So, it looks like there will be a hold of Southern University. Hold of those is Philip Thomas. To the 10 yard line, not where you wanted to start this drive. Now, it's enough to give it up a touchdown. Now, it's a great opportunity for the all four defense to make a stand. They're going across the 10, spins this to the 15, out to the 20. The goal spinning again, and he's got a first down for the Jaguars. The goal is trying to get gone. Once again, just had the big touchdown run on the previous possession. You see the inside blocking that nice spin move. And then a little side step as well. Great job in the open field by Lagarde. Picking up the first down, moving the Jaguars out from inside their own 20. Boy, just think, Lagarde, just a freshman. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with down the road. From the 28-yard line. Here is the give, and this time Alcorn's defense snuffs out that play, and Lagone no, goes nowhere. Yeah, both of these, both of these ball clubs have a stable of running backs, and, you know, and both coaches talked about how it's hard to get carries for all of the guys, but each of them are going to go with the hot hand right now for Coach Kerry Dooley. It's Lagone on the tackle, Malcolm McGee, the defensive back from Collins, Mississippi. Second down and 11 from the 26. McCray back to pass. Well, he's got all kinds of time. Gets it out to the wide receiver, and he gets it out to about the 26-yard line. On the catch for Southern University, that's going to be Gregory Perkins, the tight end from Pensacola. Third down coming up now. This is the big third down. Jack so for one of three on third down so for tonight. Coach Dooley known as the offensive guru in the conference. He's been excellent so far this season. 48% conversion rate. So Dooley and his offensive staff has done an excellent job in these situations. But this is a very difficult one, third and 11. Man in motion was Dyson. Here's the throw down the sideline. Cut at the 40-yard line. What a catch by Pete. And he goes down. It looks like he's hurt that tailbone. First down, Jack. Well, 
I'm not sure if this was a design back shoulder throw or if it was just underthrown by McCray. But nevertheless, excellent adjustment by Pete in the air. And you see him come down on that right hip, but able to pull it in for another big first down. Huge gain so far by Pete. And he'll come off the field. And you can tell he looks like he'll be okay, but you can tell he came down hard on that hip. That is his fourth reception of the ball game. Already has one touchdown on the night, and that was a huge third down conversion on third and 11. 127 yards so far in the ball game for Pete, and this play goes nowhere. Sims tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Already 127 yards for Pete. And they identified that matchup on the outside. Antonio Rice making a stop there. With a little help from his friends for all so it's going to be second and long now for Southern. But they've done a nice job. Remember, this drive started at their own 10-yard line, and now they're already in plus territory as we go under six and a half minutes here in the first half. Second down and 11 after a big defensive play by the Braves. Little stunt by the defense. Here's the throw by McCray. Caught at the 20 yard line. What a catch. Allen on the reception. And he's shaking up on the sideline. Well, I'll tell you what, Santoria, they are picking on Devontae Keith. This is about the fourth time tonight that they've attacked him one on one in coverage. And the receivers for Southern but just out jumping him for those jump balls and coming down with the receptions. He is not a small defensive back, 6'2", 165-pound senior out of Gainesville, Florida, but apparently he does not have the vertical leap to keep up with these Jaguar receivers, and they are taking advantage of him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Alcorn is going to have to make some adjustments to get him some help over the top. Well, Allen comes out of the ball game as he was hit out of he was hit going out of bounds And it looks like he'll be okay And of course for all corns Frederick Thomas is the defensive coordinator. He's also the quarterback coach So that is his, is his wheelhouse though. He's gonna have to make some adjustments To give Key a little assistance over there or he's gonna continue to get torched First down and 10 now for Southern at the Alcorn 20-yard line. And again, press man-to-man -man coverage. Here's the give across the 20 to about the 15-yard line. Sims on the carry. And they'll get him down to about the 14-yard line. Gain of six on the play. It's not a brave defense really on the heels right now. Jerry Dooley really calling a nice game, mixing up the run and pass. They want to balance the attack, and they're doing an outstanding job of that on this drive. McCray looking into the end zone. It's up, and it is caught. Is it a touchdown? Yes, touchdown, Southern University. Allen, after getting shaken up a little bit, comes back and puts six on the board for Southern. You know what? We're not going to pick on Keith. We're going to go to the other side and give the left cornerback a little taste of this message. And another jump ball. And again, Cassius Allen goes 6'4", 200 pounds, and he's just bigger than the defensive back, 21. Andrew Smith, who only goes 5'11". So excellent job by Dooley. Realizing that advantage that his receivers have and they're just playing jump ball right now. That's the point trying is up and it is good. 21 to nothing. Our score. Southern has extended that lead back to 14 points. And we see the Southern fans waving their flag here in Baton Rouge. Big throw by McCray getting that ball to Allen. Six more on the board. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners. 
producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, others did too. But after saving big with early holiday deals at Amazon, she was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Apparently the big bad wolf. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Equinox to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. A Corona and palm trees. A Corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And our strong knees. It's Andy and Snoop. And we're eating Guam cheese. Guam cheese? Yeah, I don't know. I ran out of rhymes. The Southern University cheerleaders entertaining the crowd here in Baton Rouge as the Jags are up 21 to 7 over the Alcorn State University Braves. 521 left to go in this first half of play. Ken, I tell you, this is a game where you can tell that there are adjustments. The offensive guru does it again, realizing mismatches. Yeah, every dude is taking advantage of the size on the outside of his big receivers. Cassius Allen going six foot four, and then Pete going six foot one, going against smaller cornerbacks for all corners. They're taking advantage of the one on one matchups. Nico to return for Alcorn State University. And here's a kick. It will stay inbound at the five, out to the 10, out to about the 14 yard line on the return. Manny Jones, as he was going to let the ball bounce to see if it was going to go into the end zone. Instead, it bounced back into the field of play. That could have been a huge mistake there. He thought it was going into the end zone, but good job catching it on the bounce and just getting as much as he can out of the play. Hands up by Jones. But for Aaron Allen and company, once again, they start deep in their own territory. The last possession they were able to go on a 75 yard 10 play drive to get their first score of the night. This time they started their own 14. Here's Allen back to pass, looking, and it's incomplete. Remember, Alcorn at one point had the ball inside the 25-yard line of Southern. Could not do anything to cash in. That could have gotten him another touchdown. Seven down, 5.06 left to go in this first half. Yeah, this is an important drive for a couple of Field position. Also, Southern will get the football to begin, the, excuse me, Alcorn will get the football to begin the second half. So if you can eat up some clock, get a score here, and then get the football to begin the second half, you can get a two-for situation where you can try to get back into this ball. Ontario yeah. Hunt with the catch the retro to the ball in Mississippi. And on the top, Christian Davis. Third down and five. It's a big third down coming up for the Braves. You have to convert here. You do not want to punt the football back to the Jaguars. All points so far tonight on third down, only two of six. Here's Allen back to pass. Looking for the open receiver. Caught. That may be a penalty flag. Didn't get one. Harris was close to getting a 15-yard penalty for the push in the back after the receiver had already hit the turf. 
nice job on the ground by Rogers, and yeah, that was unnecessary. That was easy to run 15 yards, and they do call. Maybe not. First down. First down. So the penalty was not for the personal foul. Apparently, there was another infraction that Alcorn declined. Alcorn getting to the line and now looking over to the sideline. Two timeouts remaining for both ball clubs. Howard in the backfield for the Braves, along with Allen. Allen back. He'll take off with the football. 35. He'll slide to about the 37 yard line. Aaron Allen slides safely to the 36 yard line. Quarterback is a five run play track in five. Leading him through the hole. Jets have the issue. This is where you want to be if you're the Braves. You don't want to be in that second and nine, second and ten territory. They'll say he started his slot at the 36. Here's the gift to Howard across the 40. Gets to about the 42-yard line. That should be enough for a first down. A great open field tackle by Jordan Carter. Bringing down the big fella in space. Excellent job by Carter. 5'11", 200-pound sophomore. Transfer from Bowie State. Those are winning plays right there that that young man just made. Allen in the shotgun, looking here on first down and 10. And this is complete. Go down to the wide receiver, Kobe Dillon. Sophomore from Faraday. Dillon really is listed as a running back, but also plays receiver. First down. Juan Anthony actually on the catch there for Southern University for Alcorn State University. First down and 10. Here's Allen. Pass completed, and that's going to be out to Rogers. And Rogers goes to another first down for Alcorn State. He's trying to go a little tempo. Just a little simple out route. Taking what the defense gives him. They don't want to stay in the pocket too long against this fierce pass run of the Jaguars. Allen looking, getting across the 40-yard line. 35. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. And there goes one of the camera. Got a little tangled up over there, did Allen and gets it down to the 31. So close to the first down. And right here, coming right into your living room. Watch out now. <laughs> Have a seat at the dinner table. You get a little hazard pay for being that close on the sideline. <laughs> Allen now back in the shotgun, looking deep, going down the left side. It is caught. What a one-handed catch. That was Hunt on the reception. Touchdown, Alcorn. There is a flag on the play. What a grab by Hunt. And let's check the penalty marker. And that will go against Southern University. University is declined. Touchdown, Alcorn State. An amazing throw by Allen to Hunt. And again, one on one coverage on the outside. You see some hand fighting there. And then the defender looks like it was Kristen Davis. Had a little tug of the jersey at the end, and that's what the officials caught. And it's always the second guy that gets caught. 
Extra point tries up, and it's good. 21-14 now the score. And we've got a ball game here in Baton Rouge for the minute and a half remaining in the first half of play. Nice throw, in zone angle. You see the little tug right there at the end. And an excellent one-handed catch by Monterio Hunt. Red shirt senior out of Walnut, Mississippi. And the Braves hanging around, hanging around. 21-14 our score, and I'm telling you, Ken, what was really impressive there, just getting out there, one-hand catch. <laughs> making that huge catch, it ignited the all four fans that have made the drop. Well, it was here at about the 27 28 yard line for the Jags first down and 10 they still have two timeouts left here in the first half McCray hands off gets it to Lagoon he gets across the 25 yard line clock continues to run Southern on top by seven, 21 14. And now they're looking to the sideline and they're letting the clock run out here just a little bit. They're letting it run down. Well, because they had that negative play on first down. So now they don't want to be in a situation where they have to punt the football back to the Braves. Second down and 12. McCray back to pass. Looking over the middle. Complete. Going the wrong way. Trying to use his speed to turn the corner, but he gave up about five yards going the opposite direction was Chandler Whitfield. Whitfield, who also returns kicks for Southern University. So now, instead of having the first down, if he would have just turned up field and got as much as he could, he would have had the first down. Now you're in a third and three situation at the 35-yard line. Now Whitfield in motion. Nothing doing on this play on third and three. And that'll let the uh, that clock will expire. We'll hold it at five seconds. Yeah, I think Coach uh, Fred McNair is going to call a timeout. And they're going to force Southern to make a decision here. Fourth down and three. So with that stop, Coach McNair... A little strategy here. And they put five seconds back on the clock, so it's actually going to be 10 seconds. So that's going to force the Jaguars to punt the football. If it was at five seconds, you could have McCray run around and just throw a deep pass to let those five seconds run out. You can't do that with 10 seconds. So now let's see if special teams comes into play, if Fred McNair puts on the block or if he tries to set up a return. But well, for Southern University, really, they did not want to give the ball back to Alcorn State University at all here in this first half after they scored that touchdown. And so now they'll be forced to do so. And, of course, you never know what will happen on a punt. Fourth down and three. Looks like the Braves have a return set up.
And they'll let this one bounce and let the time expire here in the first half of play. We're at halftime. The Southern University Jaguars on top 21 to 14 as they go to the locker room. But Alcorn's got a little bit of momentum after that last touchdown that they scored late in the first half. Yeah, great end of the half by the Alcorn Braves. Southern going in with a seven point lead. But they're not real happy about the way the half ended. Absolutely, 10 seconds left. They had to punt the football back to Alcorn State. And you can see here, big play by Allen going down the field and a huge touchdown to end the first half. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Spend the day watching your kids' big game. At least one of you is having fun. And Chop House Aeoli is calling your name. You want crispy onion strings and a brioche bun. Everything's better with melted cheese. Kevin's dad doesn't understand boundaries. The Sonic Chop House Cheeseburger. Mmm, Sonic. all-new Hyundai Tucson. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We are Mighty! annoying. Go, go. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> if you have cut-rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest, Coach! Cheese! 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 Cheese it! Official sponsor of the college football playoff. <sighs> Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Time to switch to Verizon, the most reliable 5G network in America. I'm listening. You even get a free 5G phone on them. Touchdown! Switch now and get the new Google Pixel 7 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. Ziploc is designed to store fresh dumplings so you can unlock long-distance traditions. Ziploc. Unlock life. America's number one trusted food storage bag. SC Johnson. Olay faced expensive gels that don't last and wiped them out. New Olay Hyaluronic Lightweight Gel Moisturizer locks in powerful moisture and is supercharged to hydrate two times longer and outlast the 100, 200, and even $400 cream for dewy, hydrated skin around the clock. Face it, it's time for Olay. Face anything. This is kind of a love story, because what is this, and this, and this, if not pure, unbridled passion? That's the feeling at Home Goods. Here you can always get more of what you love, more variety to choose from, more treasures to uncover, all for less. So when something makes your heart race, you'll know it's yours to keep because the best things in life don't cost a fortune. They're found. Home Goods, go finding. 21-14, our score, Southern on top of Alcorn here at halftime. And now let's take it to the field. The sounds of dynamite from Alcorn State University.
The sounds of dynamite from Alcorn State University. 21-14 our score. Southern on top. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back. All moments made easy. That's totally Target. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back. Cutting property taxes to help homeowners. Producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, Join us and keep Texas strong. The all new Hyundai Tucson. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. Connect on a sweeter level. I didn't win the lawsuit, but everybody knows I wrote that song. Flo? Gosh, it's been forever. You look fantastic. It's John. Ham, from the blind date we went on years ago. Ah, the struggling actor who didn't believe he could save his snapshot based on how and how much he drives. I I'd love to talk about it over dinner sometime. Well, I usually don't talk on the phone during dinner, but for potential customer Tom Ham, I will make an exception. Oh, boy. <sighs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. Time to switch to Verizon, the most reliable 5G network in America. I'm listening. You even get a free 5G phone on them. Sweet. So now, whether you're in the city or on the road. Reception. And getting the network you want and a brand new phone. Touchdown! Oh! Touchdown! Switch now and get the new Google Pixel 7 Pro on us. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. Your style is your superpower. Yours to create and own. Your best style starts with Tresemme. Our most advanced formulas infused with salon-inspired ingredients like hyaluronic acid and Pro Style technology. Pro smooth, pro shine, pro confident. Liz, you nerd, cough if you're in here. Shh. I took me some XTM for my phlegmy cough. What about Rob's dry cough? Works on that too, and lasts 12 hours. 12 hours? Who studies that long? Musin XDM relieves wet and dry coughs. The number one brand doctors trust. 21-14, our score, Southern on top here at halftime. And now it's time to take a look at the human jukebox from Southern University.
14 our score here at halftime is the jukebox entertaining the crowd here at Southern. We'll take a timeout back with more right after this. moments made easy. That's totally Target. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back. Cutting property taxes to help homeowners. Producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, Join us and keep Texas strong. to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest color. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese it, official sponsor of the college football playoff. So I said, yeah, you're saving hundreds with the home and auto bundle from Progressive, but there's no saving that casserole. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that word bundle. It's so fun. So you know, two things coming together like a force of nature, like it was really meant to be, you know? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm so glad you want to save money. Rodney, set up a bundle for John Hamm. Mm, of course. John, is it still cool if I catch a ride home with you? I never said it was. You know, but technically you didn't say it wasn't. It's not. Yet. Liz, you nerd, cough if you're in here. Shh. I took me some XTM for my phlegmy cough. What about Rob's dry cough? Works on that too, and lasts 12 hours. 12 hours? Who studies that long? Musin XDM relieves wet and dry coughs. The number one brand doctors trust. Ziploc is designed to store fresh dumplings so you can unlock long distance traditions. Ziploc, unlock life. America's number one trusted food storage bag, SC Johnson. So I just switched to Verizon Business Unlimited. It is just right for my little business. We switched too. 5G Ultra Wideband in more cities keeps our project teams on the same page even when we can't be in the same place. Unlimited premium data, unlimited hotspot data. My point of sale is on point. You know it's from the most reliable 5G network in America. You know you get up to 10 times the speed at no extra cost. Switch to Verizon Business Unlimited today and get the right plan for your team from the network America relies on. Time of the Swag News and Notes presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, the official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Swag. The Southwestern Athletic Conference announced its 22-23 men's basketball predicted order of finish. Texas Southern picked to win the conference, followed by Alcorn State and Southern. Black Players of the Week, Shadur Sanders takes offensive player of the week. Isaiah Major from Florida A&M, Defensive Player of the Week, and a couple of Jaguar Specialists of the Week, Joshua Griffin, and Newcomer of the Week, quarterback, Bashawn McCray. 
and all eight episodes of Why Not Us, the Southern Dance, now available on ESPN Plus. The eight episode series focuses on fabulous dancing dials of Southern University. That is your SWAC News and Notes presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Now the SWAC scoreboard presented by Chevrolet Find New Roads. Couple of big games around the SWAC today. Florida AM with a squeaker over Grambling 20 to 16. Alabama State takes care of Mississippi Valley State at home 24 to 9. And Jackson State all over Bethune Cookman this afternoon 48. To eight. Tomorrow, Alabama A&M will travel to Arkansas Pine Bluff. That game originally scheduled for St. Louis. It'll be in Pine Bluff tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. That's the SWAC scoreboard presented by Chevrolet Fine New Roads. Our halftime score, 21-14, Southern University over Alcorn. Third quarter coming up. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl is back. Which means the never-ending pasta you crave is back. Enjoying them with homemade sauces and topping them off again and again, that's back too. Going back for seconds, even thirds, back and back. Starting it all off with our never-ending first course. Well, that's always been here. Never-ending pasta bowl. It's back, starting at $13.99. Olive Garden, we're all family here. 21-14, our score, Southern University on top of all corn as we get ready to start the third quarter here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Centoria Black along with Ken Moore and Ken. That first half, it had a lot of different uh, moods, I guess you could say. Yeah. A lot of ebb and flow to the first half. Southern came out with an up-tempo style, went right down the field, jumped on Alcorn 7-0, had a 21-7 lead. But the Alcorn Braves come back. Aaron Allen got hot near the end of the half, started out 2 of 7, ended the half 9 of 10, and a couple of touchdown passes to get the Braves back into this. And one of the things that, you know, we talk about the offense so much, but Southern's defense dominated early in the game. Yeah, they had a lot of sacks, a lot of pressure on Allen, did an excellent job against the rush of all corners. The Braves with only 33 yards on the ground in that first half. Yeah, no question. And so now when you start looking at this uh, second half, you know, you look at uh, all the things that they did in the first half. And Southern University, they got on the board early. Well, they took advantage of the height of their receivers on the outside. They took advantage of those one-on-one -on -one matchups. You see the turnover here early when Allen was struggling. Harris with the INT. The Jaguar secondary outstanding so far. And then, of course, the tip drill here and Alcorn's defense coming up with a turnover. Yeah, absolutely. Coming back the other way. And that would also got a face mask on that penalty as well. One turnover for each team in that first half. And Aaron Allen getting sacked by Lane in the backfield. Luckily recovered the fumble there. Lane had an outstanding first half so far. Offensive line just blew open. Alcorn State here. And Lagone gets a touchdown. And then Allen comes back, throws a deep one here, and a big touchdown here late in the first half. Yeah, Malik Rogers capping off a 10-play, 75-yard drive. You look at the numbers there in the first half, 13 to 12 in the first down. The big number to rushing yards, the Jaguars with 103. Alcorn with only 33 yards on the ground. They picked it up through the air. Both teams having success through the air. Time of possession virtually even as well. So we're in store for one heck of a second half. Halftime stats presented by Cricket. Smile, you're on Cricket. 
getting ready to start the third quarter here between Southern and Alcorn State University. And if you're looking at this third quarter, Alcorn, you get the ball back. You got the momentum because you were able to score late in the first half. You have to take advantage of your possessions. Yeah, absolutely. You see Andy Jones back deep. And we'll see how this kickoff comes down. The last one came down a little short and forced all corners to start deep in their own end of the territory. So this should be one heck of the second half. Of course, the game last year went right down to the wire with the Jaguars winning on a field goal at the buzzer. We'll see how this final 30 minutes plays out. This one on the ground comes down, bouncing at about the 10-yard line out to the 20 to the 25-yard line. And it'll be first down and 10 for Alcorn State University to start things off here in the third quarter of play. I tell you what, this Alcorn State uh, offense early on couldn't find the range. As a matter of fact, negative yards rushing early on because of that defense. And then they were able to pick things up. But this is a team that likes to rush the football and to only have 33 yards. The one thing Alcorn can do, they can adjust. Yeah, absolutely. You saw they went to the short passing game at the end of the half, trying to take advantage of the cushion. You see the seven to eight yard cushion that the Jaguar defensive backs are giving them. Here is the give, 25-30. Big run to start things off here in the second half of play. Howard on the carry, and it's the first down. Yeah, good job. Running off tackle. They've been trying to get him off tackle on the left and right side of this offensive line. Good job sealing the edge that time. Able to pick up 15 yards on that first play from scrimmage. From the 35-yard line, Allen looking to the sideline. Kind of a check with me system. Howard in the backfield. Allen will fake to him. Boy, he takes mm. off and he trips and loses yardage here. Great play by Givens. And one of the big offensive linemen down for Alcorn State. And that's number 62, Michael Moments. The offensive lineman from Tampa, Florida. You see the pocket just collapsing around Aaron Allen that time. Jaguars with another sack. And now Moment will come off of the field for the Braves. Second down and 14. Allen in that first half, 11 of 16, 141 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. But he ended the half on a 9 out of 10 run. Griffin in motion, the tight end now going back to the other side. Allen will hand off to Howard across the 35, gets to about the 39-yard line. That'll bring a third down for the Braves. Of course, the winner of this ball game will be in first place in the West Division. This is a huge game. Alcorn comes in 2-0. In conference play, Southern comes in two and one. Prairie View has a bye week. They're three and one. So if the Jaguars pull off the victory here tonight, you'll have three teams with one loss at the top of the conference. But Southern's big win over Prairie View will give them the tiebreaker at the midway point during the season. Allen back to pass. Pocket collapsing. He gets it off and nearly picked off the intended receiver was Akeem McNair, the senior from Collins, Mississippi, and it's fourth down. That was a dangerous throw once again by Allen across the middle. Feel a little hold in there that got away with inside. Excellent coverage in the secondary, breaking up that pass play. Glenn Brown, the junior out of LaPlace, Louisiana. Fourth down, and it's time to punt here for Alcorn State. And here's a kick, low kick, and it will hit at the 30, go out of bounds at about the 21, 22 yard line. And that will be first down and 10, and the line judge goes up to the 24 yard line. So first down and 10 at that point. All right, so we'll see what the Jaguars do here on their first possession. Deshaun McCray, 10 of 13 in that first half, 178 yards, also two touchdowns, one interception, almost identical to the production of Aaron Allen. So both quarterbacks 
with one mistake, but both had a very solid first half of play. Pete by far having his best offensive production of the day so far for the Southern Jacks. He's got four catches, 127 yards. That big touchdown in the first half. Yeah, he has had himself quite a night, and they've been able to take advantage of the cornerbacks on the outside. So you see the immediate adjustment by the Alcorn defense. They were playing press man to man for most of the first half. Defensive backs about seven to eight yards off of these receivers at least on that first play from scrimmage to begin the third period. But going on the carry for Southern. Minimal game on the play. Brings up second down and nine. Madonna, leading rusher in the ball game. Seven carries, 74 yards. One touchdown. Rod Sims, the feature back. Six carries for only 16 yards tonight. So Lagone has had the hot hand, and they go back to him to begin the second half. McCray in the shotgun, and he'll hand the ball off to Sims across the 25 to about the 27-yard line. Great defensive play by the interior line. Check that's going to be Lagone on the carry. But one thing that uh, Coach... Eric Dooley spoke about is how strong the front seven is for the Braves. Yeah, absolutely. They do an excellent job up front. Again, they lead the conference coming into the ball game tonight with 20 sacks. They already have one on the evening, and this is a blitz situation here for Alcorn. Third and long for Southern. Jaguars, two of five on third down in the first half. Here's McCray back to pass complete across the 35 up to about the 36 yard line. And on the catch for the Southern Jaguars, that's Chandler Whitfield. And that's a first down for Southern. Nice little inside round by the freshman. Knew where he needs to get for the first down. And again, the Braves laying off, giving a little cushion. Get it toasted in that first half. Here's the give to Lagone. Uh, she said the keeper by McCray. He gets across the 40 yard line. He faked the give to Lagone and kept it. And it'll be second down for Southern University. But they put themselves in great field position here on second down. Good job by McCray on the keeper that time. And second down and short. His eighth carry of the night for 27 yards. So. Braves have done a good job keeping his keeping him in control on the ground so far this evening, but that was a nice first down run. Second down and three, and when you're at this point in the game, second down and three, you can take a few chances. McCray back to pass, looking, trying to find a receiver. He'll keep it himself, go across the 40 to about the 46, 47 yard line. Flag on the play. That's in the neighborhood of Holden. Exactly what it looks like it's gonna be. And it'll be holding against Southern University. Ten yards and repeat second down. And those are the types of plays that you don't want when you're now moving backwards. I think we can pick up the hole here. Looks like it's on the right side. Looks like they're holding Smith, 58. Talking about his hand caught in the cookie jar that'll back him up to the 32. It's gonna be second and about 13. Here's McCray back to pass. This one hits the dirt. And yeah, they tried to set up the screen that time, but a good job by the Alcorn defense sniffing it out. They tried to set up Cassius Allen, but a great job. And right, I should say, uh, Andrew Cole, the 6'4", 320-pound redshirt senior from Somerville, Tennessee. Transfer from Southern Miss in there on the uh, hurry. And it's third down and 13. They've already converted a third and eight on this possession. This one will be a little bit more difficult behind the chains. McCray looking, gets out of some trouble across the 30. And he's going to be caught at about the 33-yard line. Great pursuit on the ball by Chris Ballard. Gobbled up and swallowed up by Ballard. Big number 99, the big fella. 6'4", 
6'2", 270 pounds, tracking down the quarterback, McCray. And the Jaguars going to have to punt it away, still protecting that seven-point lead. And McCray coming to the sideline with his head down. He may have gotten shaken up a little bit, and he's going to go down to one knee. He's going to have to be looked at over there on the sideline. So that could be a developing factor in this ball game. Fourth down and 13, punting situation now for the Jags. You can see all point. Adjusting here on special teams. Here's the kick. And it's a fair catch at about the 26-yard line. And McCray getting some help there on the sideline. So we'll take a look and see how that develops as this brick comes off. 21-14 back after this. to rise above and you've come to the right place because it all starts right here which is precisely why we are so proud to support HBCU programs since 1837 historically black colleges and universities have been fulfilling their purpose to educate and empower since 2009 the Home Depot's retool your school campus improvement grant program has also been powered by a purpose to update upgrade and uplift HBCU campuses today 44 million votes 4.1 million dollars and 147 grants later we remain inspired by the people the passion and the power of HBCUs to continue our purpose learn more at retoolyourschools.com Dad, where's the future? Uh, oh wow. Um, the future is, uh, what's ahead of us? I don't get it. Yeah. Maybe this will help. So, now, we're in the present. And now, we're in the future. The all-electric Chevy Bolt EUV with available Super Cruise for hands-free driving. Dad? Yeah? Do fish get thirsty? Uh. Find new answers. Find new roads. Chevrolet. When was the last time you experienced something different? Dig in to support Black-owned restaurants. 21-14 on score, developing score, and McCray came out of the ball game, and then he went down to one knee. He's now sitting on the bench, and we'll see what happens and uh, make sure he's okay. It looks like he's going to be okay, but I uh, know a lot of people are holding their breath momentarily. Yeah, here's the play as he scrambles out to the right, and the big fella grabs him from behind. Could have been a horse collar there and kind of falls on him, so that's a lot of weight falling on your quarterback, so... We'll see if he comes out when the Jaguars retain possession. But for right now, Alcorn operating, trying to see if they can go down and tie this football game up. Director of Sports Medicine, Jessica Robinson, with him on the sideline. Here is the give to Howard. Decent gain on first down. Under nine minutes left in this third quarter. Howard before that carry, got up to 12, uh, 50 yards on 12 carries. Picks up three on that game. Second down and seven. A name that we have not called tonight, C.J. Bola. Yeah, coach told us that he was questionable in our conversation with him on Wednesday. And C.J., one of the leading receivers, not in the ball game here tonight. Juan Anthony Jr. on the catch for... Alcorn State now third down and two. And, you know, Bolon really one of those types of players. He can hurt you from behind the line of scrimmage. He can hurt you deep downfield. Just really one of those great utility players. Yeah, absolutely. 
17 catches on the year for 162 yards that they're missing out of this offense for Alcorn tonight. Malik Rogers stepping up as well as Juan Anthony in his place. Howard on the carry here on third down and two, and they get a first down and a little bit more crossing the 40-yard line. And again, that second effort, those big guys up front just getting in behind them. Steve Carter, 300-pound senior out of Cedar Hill. Helping push his tail back forward, picks up a first down. Big hit from Harris. Harris likes to lay the lumber. He loves contact, the safety. Harris, to say, controlling the ball. Howard, a few yards there on first down. See Derek Williams, six foot, two hundred and ten pound sophomore out of Miami, coming in to make the stop that time. Third quarter moving briskly, approaching seven minutes. No scoring so far here in the third. Jaguars protecting the seven point lead from the 44 yard line. Nico Duffy now in the backfield. Part of that freshness that Coach McNair spoke about. Allen hands it off to Nico Duffy across the 45, gets to about the 50 yard line. Going to be about one yard shy. He had a hold, but it closed quickly on that right side. And here's a give across the 50, and he has the first down. So Nico Duffy moving the sticks for the Alcorn State University Braves. And this is where Alcorn really excels when they can get the running game going. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to get those guys up front. And what you want to try to do is wear down this defensive front of Southern. Pound them, pound them, pound them. And then try to hit them over the top like you did at the end of the half to Malik Rogers. Here's a get once again to Duffy. Gets across the 40-yard line, down inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. Great job blocking downfield. And Duffy keeping his footing and a big run. You know, I think that was the tight end, 85, Tavarius Griffin, the junior out of Tallahassee, and he's leading the way for Duffy. And he's able to get down in the plus territory across the 40, so it's going to be second down and short now for the Braves as they are meticulously moving down the field. As we have a pause in the action. Looks like there's a Jaguar maybe shaking up on the play. Five twenty-eight left in this third quarter play. Second down and one. And you know, earlier in the game, Alcorn really couldn't do anything as far as on the rushing attack. Now 79 yards on the ground. And yeah, they've done a good job since that first period when Southern really dominated. Braves starting to settle in now. They've more than doubled what they got in the first half. Absolutely. Here's a give by Duck to Duffy across the 40. To the 39, he may have gotten a line of the scrimmage. He may have even lost a yard on the play. Under five minutes now. I wonder if they'll come back with Howard on this third and short. It's going to be third and about two. He lost one yard on that play, and here comes number zero, the big fella, 5'10", 200 pounds. He's the short yardage guy. Now, you can also go play action here and try to take a shot up deep. You got one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, so let's see how Alcorn State plays it here. Offensive coordinator, Elliot Ratton. And Howard trying to just escape pressure. He goes nowhere. As a matter of fact, he loses yardage. And that brings up fourth down for Alcorn. So you had a second and one, and back-to-back -back plays going reverse. Good job blowing up that play. Is that Lang again? He's just all over the place. My goodness. And that's going to be fourth down and about four. They need the 37 to move the chains. And they're going to go for it. Big play here on fourth down. The Jaguar crowd getting revved up. Allen. Back to pass, fourth down, caught, 
First down, Alcorn State. And on the catch, Akeem McNair. What a clutch catch by McNair. Looked like that ball was tipped, but it wasn't. Just got it over the arms of the defender. Great throw by Allen. Drive continues. And Howard picked up a huge block on that play to give Allen a little bit more time. Big block by Howard. Not only is he a good running back, but he's a good blocking back as well. First down and 10 now for Alcorn. Allen escapes pressure. He's at the 40, and he'll die for it at about the 35-yard line. Another good job in the secondary. Another great job by that front four collapsing, not allowing Allen to escape the pocket and pick up yardage downfield. It's going to go down as another sack for the Jaguars. Cornelius Mann Jr., one of those guys in the backfield. Second down and 12. One of those sustaining drives that we talked about, and this is what Alcorn needed, but they've got to get something here on second and 12. Howard across the 30. Ooh, the big fella putting the shoulder pass down. Third down and much shorter after Howard just, that's what I'm talking about. You want to get some of this, Mr. Harris? Come get some. I'm going to give you some. And a quick play here. Quick play here on third down and two. Howard not able to pick up the first down. It's going to be fourth and one once again. They just converted a fourth and four. Another big fourth down as we approach a minute and a half. Still 21-14, Southern on top. Coming into the game, Alcorn was three of five on fourth down conversions. They've already converted one today. Here's Howard, a flag on the play. And it's going to stop before it even started. Well, that's going to be good news for Alcorn because they went to the Wildcat and the Jaguars knew what was coming. So if that's a pre-snap, it's going to make it fourth and six. False start. Offense. It is a Five false start. So now fourth and six changes things a little bit here. It may. You decision time now. If you think your kicker has enough distance, you may want to take the three here. It's going to be decision time for Coach Fred McNair. This is a big one. It looks like he does have the special teams unit on the field. Keani on for the extra point. He missed a 49-yard field goal last week. He was one of two last week. Here is the kick. It is up, and it is no good. Wide right. Yeah, that was a 46-yard attempt. 21-14 our score. Alcorn coming up empty on that possession. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Spend the day watching your kid's big game. At least one of you is having fun. And Chop House Aeoli is calling your name. You want crispy onion strings and a brioche bun. Everything's better with melted cheese. Kevin's dad doesn't understand boundaries. The Sonic Chop House Cheeseburger. Mmm, Sonic.
Chrysler, Equinox to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. Mm, these cheese at Buffer are so cheesy, airy, and puffy. How'd you do it? With the Puff Driver 5000, anything can be craveably puffy. <laughs> cheese it puffed. Defy your cheese expectations. New degree advanced. First ever 72 hour non stop protection with motion sense. Tested to the limit. Still feeling dry and fresh. Superior 72 hour non stop protection, however much you move. 21 14, our score. 1 14 remaining here in the third quarter. Playing. See some fans enjoying themselves. Do a little two step down on the track. That's more of my speed. There you go. That's more of my speed right there. Uh, but for Alcorn, they just had a 14 place, 7 minute and 46 seconds off the clock, and they come up with zero points. That's when you have a bad dessert. They call that wasted calories. Oh, yeah. That was a wasted possession right there for the Alcorn State Braves. Well, the defense doing something there as uh, Lagone goes nowhere. On first down, he loses two yards, and it's second down and 12. That defense, especially that interior line, just wreaking havoc here in the second half. And so now McCray will be alone in the backfield in the shotgun formation. Now a man in motion. McCray, great pass, tipped, and it goes incomplete. Great defensive play, getting his hands up, tipping the ball. Great job by Malcolm McGee because that looked like it was going to be a big pass play. Deep slant across the middle. Peak was open, but an excellent job by McGee going up to deflect that one at the last moment. Six foot, 190 pounds senior out of Collins, Mississippi. And now it's going to be third down and long for the Jaguars. This is only their second possession of the quarter with Alcorn eating up nearly eight minutes on the last drive. McCray, 16 to 22, 275, and two touchdowns in that game against Prairie View. Today he's already got 187 yards and two touchdowns, and it looks like a timeout. And of course, McCray was shaken up on that previous possession, but that long drive allowed him to get some rest. Third down and 12 when we come back, 21-14, our score, Southern on top. Dad, what is the future? Uh, oh wow, um, the future is, uh, what's ahead of us? I don't get it. Yeah. Maybe this will help. So, now, we're in the present. And now, we're in the future. The all-electric Chevy Bolt EUV with available Super Cruise for hands-free driving. Dad? Yeah? Do fish get thirsty? Uh. Find new answers. Find roads Chevrolet let there be no doubt you are ready for whatever comes next you've got bars to raise expectations to exceed status quo to rise above and you've come to the right place because it all starts right here which is precisely why we are so proud to support HBCU programs When was the last time you experienced something different? Dig in to support Black-owned restaurants. Join the HBCU family. You become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. 
That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. 21-14 with just 26 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Offense will come back onto the field for Southern University. And for the Jags, as you said, a long rest while the defense was out there for almost eight minutes. This is third down and 12, a huge possession here for the Jags. Yeah, Braves need to get a stop, get the football back in good field position. McCray looking. He'll take off with the football, throws it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. That was a good he got drilled on the sideline just as he released the football. No, if there is a penalty marker down, that may be. Let's just see what it is. Holding against Southern. They're going to decline that because it'll be fourth down. For the Braves, they had a spy on McCray that time. They didn't want him to get outside the pocket. Watch 32. He's the spy coming up and he's going to lay a lick right there at the boundary and a lot of times you'll see that call for a personal foul with the quarterback going out of bounds to protect the quarterback the officials let it go so that's a break for the Braves Manny Jones now on to return for the Alcorn State University Braves here is the kick by Boplan. It will take a bounce and roll out of bounds at about the 25, maybe the 26 yard line with five seconds remaining here in the third quarter play. So now you're all corn, you get the ball back. Uh, you run one play effectively, maybe, and then of course you'll go into the fourth quarter. Got to give a lot of shout out to the Braves defense. They've done a great job here in this second half. Southern did an excellent job in the first half, moving up and down the field, picking up 21 points, but only a pair of punts here in the third quarter for the Jaguars. So they are, their offense has slowed down tremendously. And we'll see what the Braves do here on the last play of the third quarter. From the 26-yard line to start the drive, here is the give to Nico Duffy. Gets maybe a couple of yards, and that will do it for the third quarter here in Baton Rouge. 21-14, you see the players holding up the four. That means the final quarter is on the way between the Braves and the Jags. There's a run by Howard, just muscling in, getting a big first down. and Biden and Ben. new Hyundai Tucson.
Rock Football on ESPN is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For an expert partner to help buy your new home, Rocket can. A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University. Built in 1938, they built a grandstand on the west side that included dormitories. In the 60s, the dormitories were converted into team meeting spaces and locker rooms. And they've expanded it several times, including in 2016, installing the new field turf. So really a lot of construction going on still here at A.W. Mumford Stadium, trying to improve it. 21-14, our score, Nico Duffy taking the first uh, run from on fourth in the fourth quarter. It was a pretty quiet third quarter for both offenses. Southern with only one first down in the third period. They had 17 total yards. Alcorn had four first downs, but only 66 yards. No scores in the third quarter. Still at 21-14. See if the Braves can convert here on third and six. Big third down if you're Alcorn. You want to try and get a score here if you can. Allen. Looking, passing, complete. And that pass complete to Rogers. And that's a first down. Great job by Rogers. The throw by Allen slightly behind him. Good job going to the ground, bringing it in. And that'll move the chains. Allen calling for the ball. Gives to Nico Duffy. And he runs into a sea of blue shirts, including number one for Southern University in this, Jason Dumas. I've never seen a defensive lineman wear number one, and it stretches out like a Jim Burton jersey. <laughs> he definitely stands out with that number one, for sure, and that big frame. 5'10", 280 senior. Transfer from Prairie View. And one of the boys that uh, Coach Dooley brought down from PV when he made the move to Southern. Here's Allen back to pass. Throw down the sideline, incomplete. And there come the flags. Much to the dismay of the Southern University fan base. Passing the pass. Go against Kristen Davis. Number 17. Penalty. Automatic. Maybe his second pass interference tonight. One on one coverage over here on the far sideline. And again, he's just getting handsy. He has good position. You just want to turn around. Once you see that receiver look back, he does a good job looking back, but he still has his hands on the receiver, and that causes the PI. It's a good vocabulary term, getting handsy. Handsy. It'll be first down and 10. Now on the southern side of the field at the 42-yard line. Fourth quarter. Allen was taking a little bit of a stroll to the sideline. Well, the officials voluntarily stopped play. Maybe an issue with the clock. Now they'll restart the clock at 3 13 17 to go here in the fourth. Allen back to pass, looking to the sideline once again. And a big catch by the wide receiver. And that's going to be Juan Anthony Jr. So again, no CJ Bowler tonight. So it's all right. Anthony Jr. getting a Getting some targets here. Came into the ball game. Third leading receiver, 12 receptions, 118 yards. One touchdown on the season coming into tonight. Little movement on the other side there. That's his fourth catch tonight for Anthony. Here's the give to Leatherwood to about the 30. Just before that play took place, looked like Dumas had jumped, but he got back in time. <laughs> well, you get all that beef going at 280, it's hard to stop. 
throw oh. over the head of the receiver. Too much on it for Allen. Just a seam route right up the hash. Tavarius Griffin had two steps on the defender, and Allen just put too much on it. He puts that on the eight and the five. That's a walk-in score. Allen would love to have that one back. Now third down and eight. Allen on the night, 15 of 22. 174 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Huge third down here for the Braves. Six of 13 tonight on third down. You can hear the fans getting into it. Here's the throw, complete. Inside the 15, pass completed to Malik Rogers. First down, Braves. That one by Allen was on the money. Good protection up front. Got his body square. Put that one right on the two for Rogers. Here's the gift. This is to Nico Duffy. And he's out of bounds. But Duffy, you want to switch hands because he had that ball in the right hand and the Jaguars were trying to dislodge it as a tailback. You want to switch it to your outside hand and that's going to be a penalty first against down. Southern. It's going to be a first down. They may have gotten a little of the face mask of Duffy. They actually had 12 men in the huddle. So that's going to be a five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Can you see it? Yep. See one guy about to try to race off the field, and quick snap by Allen got him. He can only play with 11. Inside the 10-yard line to the eight. Allen back to throw, looking incomplete, looking for Juan Anthony Jr. Yep. And they're trying to attack Christian Davis again. These cornerbacks are getting picked on tonight by these quarterbacks. They see a weakness and they go at it. Second down and goal now from the eight yard line for the Braves. And this has been an area of concern for Coach Fred McNair and his staff so far this season. Coming into the night in the red zone, only eight of 15 conversion rate touchdowns to scores. Here's a give to Duffy, maybe a yard. And of course, Alcorn missed a 46-yard field goal on the previous possession. They had that 14-play drive that took up nearly eight minutes of the third quarter clock. So now they definitely want to punch this one into the end zone. Third and goal. So you have to dial up your best play here. See if they go to Malik Rogers. He's been the go-to guy tonight. Third down and goal for the Braves. Trips to the top of your screen. Allen back to pass, looking incomplete. A little bit too high for Hunt. And it's fourth down. They put the bunch formation to the top of the formation. They had one-on-one -on -one here at the bottom. Malik Hunt, I mean, uh, Monterio Hunt had separation. Just another off-target throw by Aaron Allen. Kiani on to try. A short field goal. Definitely within his range. The kick is up, and it is good. So it's now 21-17 after the three on the board. 10-25 left to go in this ball game. Back after this. Swagcast produced Hall of Fame players and coaches that have shaped football as we know it today. But excellent doesn't stop the game clock for us. Since 1920, the Swagcast produced some of the nation's leaders, innovators, and trailblazers. Driven by greatness, bonded by tradition, and building champions for life. We continue to submit ourselves into history. Baby, we are the Swag. Dad, where's the future? Uh, oh wow. Um, the future is, uh, what's ahead of us? I don't get it. Yeah. 
Maybe this will help. So now we're in the present. And now we're in the future. The all-electric Chevy Bolt EUV with available Super Cruise for hands-free driving. Dad? Yeah? Do fish get thirsty? Uh. Find new answers. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Let there be no doubt. You are ready for whatever comes next. You've got bars to raise, expectations to exceed, status quos to rise above, and you've come to the right place because it all starts right here, which is precisely why we are so proud to support HBCU programs. When was the last time you experienced something different? Here's the head coach Fred McNair looking on 21-17 to score another big drive for Alcorn. At least this time they get three on the board. Yeah, another 14 play drive, but you see the frustration from Coach McNair as they're unable to, to punch it into the end zone. Back-to-back -back 14 play drives, have to settle for field goal attempts on the previous possession. They missed from 46 yards out. Keanu makes this one from 24, but the Braves still trail it. 21-17, 10-25 to go here in the fourth. If you are the Southern University Jaguars, though, you got to talk to your defense because those drives kept getting extended. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you need some help from your offense as well because your offense needs to pick up some first downs, allow that defense to get some rest over here on the sideline. So it's imperative that the Jaguars at least pick up a couple of first downs on this possession. Fake the reverse here on the return for Southern. Out to about the 20, maybe the 21 yard line. On the return for Southern University, Morgan. That'll be first down and 10. Pete Richardson Field here at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Of course, Pete Richardson, longtime coach at Southern University. You talked to Coach Dooley. Coach Richardson definitely meant a lot to him. Coach Graves, of course, knew him when he was at Winston-Salem State. So Coach Richardson, a part of the fabric of HBCU football and part of the tradition at Southern. Yeah, Coach Dooley spent a long time as an assistant under Coach Richardson. Here is the give. A little bit of a gain here on first down, especially after the push by the blue wall. It'll be interesting to see how Coach Dooley plays this possession. He's really slowed down from the up-tempo that they had in the first period, and this offense has not been able to get into a rhythm. They get a nice game there on first down, and now we have a Brave shaking up. Okay, and that's going to be Trevor James, the linebacker, shaking up a little bit from Jacksonville, Florida. From McCray now, 11 of 17, 187 yards. And a lot of that in the first half. And there you see uh, Coach McNair going out to help his student athlete come off the field. Now here come one of the big linemen to help out. Well, you hate to see uh, those types of injuries. Hopefully that young man will be okay. Yeah, Trevor James, big part, middle linebacker, six foot, 205 pounds senior. He's a big part of the interior of that Alcorn State defense. Yeah, he had four tackles in the last game that they had against Mississippi Valley. Oh, Deshaun McCray working on a second and four at the 26. James actually second on the team in tackles. He had 29 coming into the game, including five for loss and a sack. Wow. 
Second down and four. Lagone with the carry. And it'll bring up third down. And Lagone, he's been the bell cow here for the most part tonight. That's his 12th carry of the evening. Averaging nearly seven yards a pop. But this is going to be a big third and three now for the Jaguars. They do not want to put their defense right back on the field after back-to-back 14-play -back drives. From the 29-yard line, here's the give to Lagon. Comes across the 30, 35, 40. First down and a lot more for Lagon, and that continues to drive for Southern. Huge block by 6'3", 325-pound senior Bernard Childs, number 60 on the outside, on the inside, excuse me, and then 78 on the outside, Eli Fields. Both of those guys open up that huge running lane for Lagone and a big first down for the Jags. As soon as they get that first down play, it looks like it may be off, I should say, a false start against false Southern. Start. So you get a big play and then a penalty. Man. And the bad thing about that for Southern, not only do you lose the five yards, but it also stops the clock. And they'll start it back up now after the temporary pause to move the football back inside the 40 to the 37. Nine penalties for 90 yards tonight against the Jaguars. Three penalties for 35 yards against Alcorn. Here's a give to Sims. Gets across the 35 and then tackled at about the 37. It's been a while since Sims has been in the ball game. Comes in to give Lagan a little breather. Let's see if he can be the fourth quarter guy. Try to get these tough yards inside, but it's going to be second down and long. They may have to go to the air now. Deshaun McCray. Ball resting at the 38-yard line, 21-17 our score. Second down and 14. Here is the gift Sims across the 40, gets up to about the 44-yard line. Still going to be well short of a, four, a first down. And again, another nice job by Eli Fields on the outside. 78, a big left tackle creating a running lane for Sims. Got about half of it back, which makes this third down more manageable now. You see if McCray goes outside to try to take advantage of one of these smaller defensive backs. They had great success with that in the first half. Haven't really tried it here in the second half. Third down and seven. McCray back to pass, looking over the middle, complete. Across the 45, down to about the 44-yard line. That's a first down to Allen. There you go. You go to the big 6'4 kid. Had a couple of nice catches in that first half. Good job by McCray sliding in the pocket to create that throwing lane. Had excellent vision as Allen broke inside. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Clock continues to move inside of six and a half minutes. Here's Lagon. 40, 35. Down at about the 35-yard line. And a flag on the play. It was a nice game by Lagon. Let's see if it stands. Looks like the Jaguars are walking Holding. backwards. Offense, number 72. 10-yard penalty. Man, the penalties Repeat. tonight Man. really slowing down the Jaguars, particularly in this second half. Jeremiah Stafford, the offensive lineman from Ocala, Florida, That's gets the penalty. Ten penalties for 100 yards on the dot. And that negates a good run by Lagon. Backs up the Southern Jaguars. Again, protecting a four-point lead, trying to keep the football away from Alcorn. Lagon, he is tripped up in the backfield. On first and 20. In fact, that was key run. Kinsler Jr. coming through to make the stop. Watch him just kind of shed the block and upend him. Just kind of a collision there between the defender and the blocker and the running back all in the same area. So 
great job by Kinsley Jr. to blow up that play. Second down and 18 now for Southern. 544 remaining in the game. Here's Lagone. He gets the ball. He gets to about the 49-yard line. And again, they keep continuing to run over that left side, but Alcorn with a couple of nice defensive plays. Now you force Southern into a third and long situation, and this is where your secondary has to come up with a big stop. Also, Alcorn, again, came into the ball game tonight leading the SWAT with 20 sacks on the season. They've only been able to get to McCray once tonight. And a lot of that is because of the big buffet busters up front doing a great job in trying to protect. Here is McCray on third and 16. Ball tipped. Oh, nearly picked off. <laughs> I tell you what, you replay that again. And Napoleon Collier, he wants that one back, the junior from Ridgeland. Yeah, he had his hands all over that one. They come with a five-man rush, six in the secondary. Got deflected at the line of scrimmage and right into the hands of Collier, but he could not bring it in. That would have been a huge turn of events for Alcorn. Jones now back to receive the punt for Alcorn. They get the ball back with 4.51 left in the game. 21-17. Low snap. Kick is away. Jones gets the ball at the 16 and he is tackled right away. Great special teams play by Southern University. And coming up with the big tackle is going to be Robert Rem, the 5'11 junior. Timeout on the field. 21-17. Oh, it's flag on the play. And we'll check and see what happened. We'll keep it right here. All right, still first down. We'll tell you about the infraction coming up after the break. 21-17, our score. There you see McCray stepping back. Tipped in just out of the reach of the defender. moments made easy. That's totally Target. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back. Cutting property taxes to help homeowners. Producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, Join us and keep Texas strong. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. I didn't win the lawsuit, but everybody knows I wrote that song. Flo? Gosh, it's been forever. You look fantastic. It's John. Ham, from the blind date we went on years ago? Ah, the struggling actor who didn't believe he could save his snapshot based on how and how much he drives. I'd love to talk about it over dinner sometime. Well, I usually don't talk on the phone during dinner, but for potential customer Tom Ham, I will make an exception. Oh, boy. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest, coach! Cheese! Cheese! Cheese it! Official sponsor of the college football playoff. Swag Football on ESPN is presented by Home Depot, proud sponsor of the Swag. Academy Sports and Outdoors, the official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Swag. And by Nike, proud sponsor of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. 
fans enjoying themselves here. 21-17 in what has turned into be a great game. Now Alcorn has the ball, and I tell you what, if you're Southern, you're kind of sitting on the edge of your seat hoping <laughs> that the defense can come up with something big. Well, we saw Alcorn do this last year, go down at the end of the game and tie the contest up. Then the Jaguars came back with a field goal to win it. 21-17. Alcorn State looking to go down and win this one, but they got a long way to go. Nico Duffy went in motion. Here's the catch, and that's by Juan Anthony Jr. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Blades on their last two possessions. Both drives started at their own 26. They had long 14-play drives that ended in field goal attempts. One was good, one was not. This drive began at their own 14. They're already across the 30. Nico Duffy gets across the 40-yard line to about the 41-yard line. And that's close to another first down. I wonder how much energy is in the tank for this Southern Jaguar defense. They have been on the field a lot here in the second half. The give to Duffy across the 40-yard line to the 45-yard line. And that's enough for an Alcorn first down. Alcorn keeps running the football, that defense of Southern. And even though Alcorn only came up with three points in those two possessions, 28 plays, the defense was on the field. Absolutely. And now they bring the big fella hat back, Jarvion Howard. Howard so far tonight, 18 carries for 70 yards. First down and 10. Here's the give across the 45. Howard keeps the legs going and gets to about the midfield stripe. The helmet comes off of one of the players. He has to come out. That's for Southern. That will stop the clock for Alcorn State. They have all three of their timeouts remaining. Tough inside running. Ball resting at the 50. Here's the give once again. Howard across the 50 to the 48-yard line. Again, trying to wear down this front seven of the Southern Jaguars. Third down, 238 remaining. Ball resting now at the 47-yard line. Offensive coordinator. Elliot Ratton content to keep it on the ground. Third and two, you want to move the chains here, so I would expect another carry for Howard. Give to Howard, bounces back to the outside. He's got his legs trapped under him by a great defensive play. On the play, that's going to be Jordan Carter, the defensive back. But did the second effort let him get there? And it's going to be fourth down and about two. This is the ball game here. Every, everyone on their feet here at the bluff. Fourth down and two, under two minutes remaining. Fans on their feet on both sides. Alcorn has to get this one in order to keep this game alive. Allen gets it out. Here's the run. Is it short? He's close. He needed the 45. The they line may have to measure. The line judge, depending on this spot, this could be a little bit short. They're going to bring in the chain, Santoria. Wow. They're telling all the players to get back while they come out and measure. This looks like it could be just a little bit short. They say it's a game of inches. If you're Alcorn, you are praying that you got just enough to get that first down. They place the chains. Here we go. Here's the stretch. They're trying to untangle it. And it's short. 
By half a football, Southern takes over. First down and 10, and Southern just moments away from winning this big game. Oh, if you're on both sides, you got to take medicine to watch this because it's just so heart-stopping. Incredible defensive stand by the Jaguars. And they're 88 seconds away from victory, but Alcorn State still has all three timeouts remaining. Coach Fred McNair saved those timeouts. So the Jaguars will need to pick up a first down. Otherwise, they will have to kick the football back to Alcorn and give the Braves another opportunity. So it's not over yet, Alcorn State fans. But it's not looking good. Huge play by the Southern defense. And you're right, just a game of inches. And that could be the difference between between Southern getting a victory and Alcorn getting a loss here. Now the big kid Sims in the backfield. He'll get it three times likely. Here's the run. Gets across the 45. They'll call a timeout out here. 119 remaining in the game. Two years in a go, in a row, this game will come down to the wire. Southern won it last year, 38-35 on a Luke Jackson 47-yard field goal at the gun. This year, they're just trying to run out the clock and pick up a first down. Timeout on the field and an opportunity for you to get some pressure medicine if you need it because there's still a minute 19 remaining. All moments made easy. That's totally Target. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back. Cutting property taxes to help homeowners. Producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, Join us and keep Texas strong. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. all-new Hyundai Tucson. This is a brand new thing. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest college. G -G -G. Cheese it, official sponsor of the college football playoff. Hey, y'all subscribe, man. Go ahead and subscribe. 21 who's trying to watch the Haney fight here in the capital city of Go Louisiana, Southern man. on top of Alcorn. Celebration and jubilation right now for the Southern Jag fans, but it's still not over as Alcorn had their full complement of timeouts. They still have two timeouts remaining, second down and seven, but a first down will end it. 124 left in this game. Alcorn trying to hang on to hope. Here's the gift to Sims. Sims gets a big run to the 45-yard line. That's a first down, and that will just about do it. Just a run over the right side. They've been going to the left side for the majority of this second half. This time, they switch it up. They go to the right. 
picks up the first down. Alcorn will use their second timeout, but they will not have enough as Southern can now go into victory formation and just run this one out. Timeout on the field, 21-17. We'll be right back. Hey man, this shit Joe crazy. Biden's this inflation is, is crushing like Americans. Like and, and Biden and Beto support Hit higher taxes Hit that would like crush us even button. more. But in Texas, we are fighting back. Cutting property taxes to help homeowners. Producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong. Red Riding Hood loved visiting Grandma's house. Unfortunately, others did too. But after saving big with early holiday deals at Amazon, she was ready for those uninvited guests. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Apparently the big bad wolf. When Wingstop made a chicken sandwich, you know they wouldn't make just one. Now you can have 12 new sauce and toss favorites like lemon pepper, mango habanero, and OG hot. So try the new chicken sandwich for only $5.49 at Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Equinox to Silverado. Chevy EVs are for everyone, everywhere. I've always loved building things. Not just structures and skyscrapers, but teams who make it all possible. So we made sure that their futures may also stand the test of time. Twenty-one seventeen. our score. Southern on top of Alcorn. 124 remaining in the game. Here's the SWAC upcoming schedule presented by Pepsi Zero Sugar, the official partner of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Yeah, next weekend we'll have Texas Southern at Alcorn. 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern right here on ESPN+. Plus. Also, Campbell will be at Jackson State. Bethune-Cookman and Mississippi Valley will have a showdown in Itabina. Prairie View will travel to Beaumont to take on Lamar. And Jackson, I should say, Southern will have homecoming here in Baton Rouge to take on Virginia University Lynchburg. Here is the run. Open field, 40, 30, down inside the 25-yard line with Sims and another first down. Alcorn will take their final timeout. Well, they originally had went into victory formation, but then they go back into regular lineup, and Sims burst through the hole deep inside Alcorn territory, and that will put the final candle on the cake, and it doesn't look like Fred McNair will take that final timeout as the clock continues to run, and the Jaguars will just have to snap it one more time, and with the victory tonight, Southern will have beaten in back-to-back -back weeks Prairie View and Alcorn State here in the West Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. They will go to 3-1 and one and atop the division, and they will have both tiebreakers over Prairie View and Alcorn State. Sets up for a huge showdown October the 29th in Jackson when they take on Jackson State and then November the 5th on the road at Florida A&M. McCray shaking the hands of one of the defenders, and that's it, the final score. Alcorn State University losing a tough one. Southern winning 21-17, and what was a nail-biter all the way down to the end. And it was a tremendous ball game. Alcorn fought valiantly down 21-14 at the break. They shut out Southern in the second half, but they could just not get enough offense once they got down deep into Southern territory. They had back-to-back 14-play -back drives, but the Jaguar defense kept them out of the end zone, forced field goal attempts, and then the Jaguars able to run out the final minute 28 to end this contest.
Yeah. And of course, uh, big players, and you see Coach Dooley pumped after winning that game against uh, Alcorn State, a huge game. And let's take a look at tonight's player of the game presented by Pepsi Zero Sugar, official partner of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Yeah, and it's going to be our quarterback, Bashan McCray. 12 of 19 on the night, 199 yards, completing 63% of his passes, two touchdowns, only one interception tonight. And he came up big when it mattered most as he took advantage of the one on one coverages on the outside, did a lot of damage in the first half, and did just enough in the second half. QBR of 175. He had a 162 coming into today's game of the last two games, top in the top five in the FCS. And AC Coach Dooley celebrating with his players. Well, it's going to be a party on the bluff tonight. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, all the celebration going on. So for Ken Moore, I'm Santoria Black saying so long from Ben Rouge, where the final score, Southern University 21, Alcorn State 17. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. And Biden and Beto support higher taxes that would crush us even more. But in Texas, we are fighting back, cutting property taxes to help homeowners, producing more energy to lower gas prices. And we passed a constitutional amendment to ban an income tax in Texas. If you're tired of getting crushed by Biden's inflation, join us and keep Texas strong.